Yeah. So guys, uh, I was just ending the video. So from us, we say goodbye. Goodbye. So see us tomorrow. Let's catch up from tomorrow. And thank you for all those watching. And as I've told you, hello, 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 my beautiful people. Steve J1 here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it has been a while uh, before I did something here. And uh, guys, I'm sorry, but sometimes things happen that are beyond your, your capabilities as a man. And you have to do what you have to do first. So guys, uh, I'm back. I'm fully back. Uh, and I'm here to do great things. So I'm Steve J1 to my new subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. For my returning viewers, thank you so much. I know uh, the consistency is needed in this uh, journey of uh, vlogging, video creation. <clears throat> Guys, many things have really happened. Uh, I, this, I think this year really started at a very high note for me. But it is what it is. I'm coming live uh, and direct from you, from my village, Mokuyuni village. He's in Makueni County. I'm in Kenya, East Africa. <clears throat> And here I am. So behind me, this is my home. So still under construction. But guys, we don't have people here. We don't have masons. So guys, I'm just coming live from you. Because so many people have been asking me. I've been getting DMs. I've been getting messages. So many people are even requesting me and asking me, Steve, what happened? For a week, you haven't produced a video. For like, In fact, let me say for the past two weeks, I've not been able to produce a video. Uh, first of all, I'm at home because uh, tomorrow we're having a burial of one of our family members uh, from my wife's side. So they lost one of their family members. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm at home. I came today with my family. So uh, another thing, in fact, I want to sit down there before I proceed. I want to say something, you know. I want to sit on this rock here. And say something oh yeah Oof. yes my people so uh i'm in makueni county guys and steve j1 is doing well i've been good i cannot complain uh although i had some small shoes with my eyes first of all they were very red they were very itchy but that is not the main problem my main issue is that uh the reason that I was not able to put across videos, record videos, is that I've been extremely busy. Extremely busy. But guys, uh, today I want to say something and address something that my brother, Aya Marwa, used to keep telling me. <laughs> you know, guys, uh, there are those people who tell you things and you think that they are just joking or they are just passing time. But until you see them in reality, it is when you, you know and you understand that uh, people are telling you something. So, you know, Ayamara used to tell me, Steve, it is the people that you want to die for. It is the very people that you support the most. It is the, the very people that you want to trust and hold their hand as a brother that always want to bring you down. They are the very people who are envious of you. They are the very people who do not want to see you progressing, doing well. I never used to... Uh, I'm not saying I never used to take Mara serious, but I never understood what he, he was meaning. Because he, he always told me, it is the very people that he has opened the most successful YouTube channels that united with his enemies to bring him down. Then I was wondering, why? And this person, you have helped them from nothing. Why should they turn against you? Until I saw it happen to me. You know, guys, honestly, let me say this. Let me say this without uh, mentioning anyone, without uh, pointing a finger at anyone. But there are lessons that I've learned in this life so far. There are very lessons that I've learned in this life that never again will I forget. Never again will I forget. Number one, I have learned to trust as minimum people as possible. The smallest number of people you trust, the better. That one I've learned the hard way. <laughs> number two, 
I've learned that it is the very person that you want to help. You want to hold their hand. You feel like this is your brother. This is your sister. That you want to help. That will never want to see you do well. You know, before before I, I, I started my construction, let me turn my camera. This is my my home now, right now. I'm seated just behind it. So this is the view of my home, as you can see. This is the rear porch where you see these pillars. So this is the rear porch. So before I started this construction, guys, uh, I never used to have... Uh, so guys, uh, what I was saying is, before I started my construction, I never used to have... Yes, I would say that I had enemies that were average. But now, when I started my, my construction, and when it took pace, and YouTube and YouTube became a thing for me, like I started getting paid, my very immediate people became the real enemies. My very immediate people, the very guys that I've really fought for, the very guys that I watched for and said, this is my brother. When you count me number one, count him number two. Or before you count me, count him. The very people that I trusted so much, the very people that I trusted so much, they became my very real enemies. And guys, I'm not imagining things when I'm saying this. It is not enemies by, by hearsay or by gossip. It is enemy by showing face to face. Guys, uh, I'll say that as a person, I've really seen things that I never thought I'd see at this age. I never thought uh, that maybe I'll pass through them, especially through people that have really held their hand at an hour that they needed somebody to hold their hand. I never thought. But I, as I, I always say, there's a God who never sleeps. You know, people think that, uh, people think that uh, when they do bad to you, that bad things will come haunting you back. But I'm a believer of one thing. Do good and live and good will follow you wherever you are do good and go and the good that you do will uh, will follow you so guys uh, i was here today i came with my muscles there there's a guy that you saw in the last video i did not take a video of them working because they were in a rush they were also heading to my friend's uh, vincent's place to take measurements so they were here they have taken measurements of these uh, windows so I'm just waiting for their BQ. They have taken the measurements of the windows, the doors, everything. So guys, our project is still taking pace. We are constructing at a very slow pace, but it is the best. So we are not rushing anything. We are doing well. But guys, uh, I just want to tell you, as you do your things, because I never used to understand what Marwa was telling me. You know, I used to talk a lot with Marwa before people came and uh, interfered with uh, whatever we were doing. Mara used to tell me a lot of things, which were very constructive, and I used to be very attentive. And one of the lessons that I've come to, 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 to pick from him is that the very person that you think is your brother is the very person who will poison your food or your drink. It is the very person who will sit down with your enemies, plan your downfall, and wish the worst for you. I've seen it myself, but that's one of the reasons why I've not been producing videos. I've been putting things together. There are some things that were not going well, so I was putting them together. They are good. Uh, and, you know, the good will always prevail over the negative. And that's why I'm back. So I'm officially back. We are going to do this. And I'm also going back to my, uh, my brother's place, Ayamaro, uh, with another brother of mine. So we shall be passing by. We say hello to him. Uh, then we do other things, good things. We also want to also help our community, see others grow. I don't know, what's that? It's a tractor. Oh. <laughs> There's some noise coming up there from our farm. So I was wondering, what was that? So it's a tractor traveling. I don't know what they are carrying. Heading to the road. There. So guys, uh, today... I'm back, as I've said. Uh, we lost one of our family members from my wife's side. So uh, we shall be going there for the burial tomorrow. Uh, on my side, I've been trying to adjust a few things here and there. Things were not so well for me. 
things are not so well for me, honestly. And uh, as a man, I had a heavy heart. And you know, there's one thing that I always do. When my, when my thoughts are not together, when my head is not together, I don't like talking a lot. You know, you can say something that you regret tomorrow. You know, when you are bitter, when you are bitter, uh, when things are not working uh, as per your expectation, when things look as though they are against you, when you feel that your dream is falling apart, do not take a quick action. I've learned that. And it will help you a lot. So for me, I was trying as much as possible to put things together. I've tried my best. Things are now working well. God has been on my side. And guys, from now I expect videos back to back. We are going to produce high quality videos, good content. Uh, we are going to show you all this place, whatever I shall be doing. And uh, all my plans, I'll be sharing with you. But I just wanted to express that. So uh, I also saw people tell me, please, can you show us your progress? But because of the project, so behind there is a project. You, but you know, from this side, you can't see because of the sun. So uh, I just, I'll just take a short tour for my new subscribers and the people who are telling me, still show us uh, the progress, where you are at now, uh, what next is expected, the plans that you have uh, on your project. Yes, I'll be showing you guys. And uh, I know all will be well. Everything will be good. But I just wanted to say that a lot has happened. Trust less people. Work more on yourself. Focus on just, I think, you and your family. The, the very people that you just find on the road and you want to help them as your brother, they, when they unite to bring you down, you will never have support of anyone. Just build your family. Be you. That is a lesson that I've learned. And I'll never repeat that mistake again for me. Like putting my life in the line for somebody else. Who will tomorrow use the same energy that I used to bring me down in when I stood for them at the hour of need? I've learned a very big lesson. So guys, it is what it is. Things have to continue no matter what. So let me show you the progress of our project. Here it is. So from this side, this is the state of my, my villa from this side. So we were able to construct uh, from down here, the slab, all the way up. So what we are waiting, we are also able to stand these pillars. So although they need, a few of them need some rectification here and there, but there is no problem. Just a small work that is needed just to rectify them, make sure they are standing still, uh, perfectly 90 degrees, uh, ensure that uh, they also have, uh, what? That they are perfectly squares. So that's what we are working on now. So let me show you what we have. Then from date 22, this month, God willing, or by end month, we are also going to ensure that we start putting the, the metals for the lentils. And then our project will be taking place. Uh, I was also consulting with my engineer. You saw me go to a few of the companies that they provide slabs. You know, there are those stones that I showed you. So they are placed on top of this house as a slab. Instead of using the traditional ballast, like that one, and the metals and cement, to make a slab, you come with those hollow blocks you put on top of your house with a few supports here and there. Then you just put two or three inches of uh, ballast and concrete and then you are done. You have a slab. So I've been consulting. I wanted to buy that to come and put all over my house. But if that won't work, this is what I'll do. I'll put a slab here, you see, behind my carport where we have the, car, uh, the, the rear porch the main corridor, and my carport. I'm going to put slabs. Then on the other parts of the house, I'm going to do a hidden roof. So uh, when you are at the rear porch, you'd just be seeing the concrete slab. When you're at the carport, you'd be seeing the concrete slab. When you're inside the house, you'll be seeing the concrete slab. But the other rooms, I'll be doing like uh, the hidden roof. So guys, tell me what you think. Should I, I have three options. The one that I've told you that I'm, I want to use... Uh, the concrete for the rear porch, uh, that is the slab for the rear porch, the main corridor, and the, the carport. Or I put 
the slabs, the, uh, the ones that I showed you, the blocks, all over the house. Or I use a hidden roof for the whole house. So guys, tell me what I have to use. Just give me your views. So let me show you what we have so far. Behind. This is the state of our house from behind here. So now if you see, these guys who are here, they have been able to take the measurements of these windows. So let me start from here. So from this side, and you see our house is very raised from the ground. You know, when you're constructing your house, make sure that it is raised from the ground. Don't, uh, don't make it uh, uh, the slab, the floor to touch the ground here. At least raise it to give it uh, more beauty. So you see, so these windows, they have taken measurements. So this is one of it. Then this is uh, the outside of the thing, the whole house. So, and this one, there's another structure that I, that I added here, guys. Let me show you. I added this structure here. You see, this is our rear porch. So we have these pillars. They just need some rectification, like they need to, to be trimmed and filled, you know. Then make them a square. Then I build an outside toilet here. We were able to build an outside toilet. I wanted this door here. I wanted this door to be put on this side. But uh, because this toilet was being constructed by a new mason when I was not even here. And my engineer was not around. So this is what he did. Yes, he did a good job. But he really put uh, the door at the wrong side. But I said, it's okay. Let's stay there. I'm going to put a door that will open from outside. So the door will open from outside here to create a space for like a toilet here you know a toilet and a shower so i wanted a shower here and a toilet so that anybody outside here outside here will be able to use this one so this is our rear porch as you can see it already has a slab the pillars are standing so we're only waiting for the for the metals to put there to join to the lentil so this is an outside toilet so when you're coming here you're not afraid uh uh, all scared of where will, will I use the toilet if I want to take a shower from outside. So this one, this is for our visitors. Anybody who wants to use a toilet from outside, this is for you guys. So let's go in. So this is the door that leads to the kitchen. So this kitchen, it's already complete. So here, this is our kitchen. You know, we moved the, this wall to that side as we, I had promised you. And this kitchen is massive. <laughs> you know, I was here with... Uh, those guys who are taking the measurements and they were like, wow, see if this thing is massive. So as you can see, this is where we are going to have the sink to wash our dishes and look at this window. So this is the view that you'll be having as you wash your utensils. And you know, with time, I'm going to put like mazeras there, you know, tiles all the way, going that way. So we plaster, we uh, plant green grass and flowers there then a plaster there with a small waterfall drips of water falling from there so this is the window of the kitchen so here it is look at how beautiful it is guys very beautiful very beautiful then we have this one this one have a, we have agreed that this stone will be moved down this window will start from here because i want this one to be like a bar you know it's a kitchen bar like a slab so this one we love sliding windows let me come to this side this one will have sliding windows that is a kitchen and this is a dining look at how big it is just look at that how low the window is so this window gives you all this view from the dining here you'll be able to see this even the people playing pool table here you can sit here and enjoy just interact with them so you interact with them so uh first of all just an update of what we have said we have agreed that we are going to to put windows here this window will be just divided into three sections uh a strip of two feet it's here it's marked from here we have marked here two feet then another two feet so this one the two feet here on that uh the two feet on this side and the two feet on this side will uh will have sliding windows so these two feet will be a sliding window from down here to the top a one mirror is it mirror or is a window pane window pane so it will be sliding all the way and that one the two feet will be sliding then we have a permanent one at the center going all the way and all these windows will be tinted 
tinted black. You know, like those of cars, that's the kind of that I like. I just want them black, but not the one way. They just want the normal uh, window pane, but they tint all of them very black. So I, I love that, the beauty of black. So uh, here we have agreed that we're going to push this stone down. Then we're going to put like that thing. So you can sit like a bar. You can eat from there as you talk to the person in the kitchen. You can also use the table on this uh, dining. It is what it is. <laughs> and guys, you know, there are so many people who are telling me, oh, Steve, you know where you are? It's when uh, a house becomes hard. No, my things don't become hard. God makes them easy. That's how I work. If guys, you know where these guys come from, Steve J1, <laughs> you will not even talk. So guys, this is our store. This is our store. So when you come in, we also have very big windows. So we have decided that these windows will also be sliding. We are going to put sliding windows here. Just look at the beauty of this small room. It's not small. It's quite big, but uh, in fact, it can fit a bed of uh, five by six comfortably. You can sleep here, five by six. So this is our store or our pantry. So this is the look. And the mangoes here are very ripe. In fact, uh, I've been able to give those guys so many mangoes. They have eaten so many mangoes from here. In fact, I'm going to add another mango tree there at that corner. There. I'm going to plant other mango trees. I want to make these places as fruitful as possible. So this is our pantry. So let's go out. So look at this kitchen. This is a kitchen, guys. It's very big. Massive. So this is our dining. I've been able to show you. But now, there's a danger here. Look at this. Let's look at this. I've told Garancha to come and uh, ensure that these nails are removed from all these holes. So this is our dining. This is our dining from here. Just look at how beautiful it looks. So you're eating your privacy. You are going to have a sink here and a mirror. So you wash your, yourself. You can see... Uh -huh. So that you, you don't have food sticking from your mouth. We are going to have very beautiful pictures here. Mounted here. Pictures, very beautiful. Just wait, guys, and see. So then we have this. My beautiful pic. This is our TV room. Look at this. Just look at that beauty from here. This is the beauty of this room. Guys, I kept telling you that this house will be beautiful. Just look at this. Just look at that window. It's a very big room. So from here, uh huh. So let me turn. So from here, let me stand at the window. From here, we are going to have our screen mounted there. So we're going to have our TV there, or maybe here, but I want it there so that we have chairs, sofas, sofas, so you can just relax like in a theater. <sighs> the kind of life that I want in the village. Oh my God, man! May God have mercy. So then uh, this is our first bedroom. This is our first bedroom. I know you guys have seen this, but uh, I'm doing this for the people that wanted to see the finished product when the masons are not here. So this is what we are doing. So this bedroom has its own toilet. So this is a bedroom itself. And it has a pattern. We initially we were constructing the size 9. Then these stones became depleted. Then I introduced the size 6 because I have many of these. They have even remained. So many of them have remained. They are there. I don't even know where I'll take them, but they are there. So this room, uh, it is the only room with a small window. But when I say small, it doesn't mean small. It is a very big window. It's a very big one, but uh, it is the smallest. You know, the space for the window was taken or eaten. <laughs> it was taken by this room, this toilet. Look at how big it is. So this toilet has three functions. It has a small sink here, sink here with a mirror. It has a toilet somewhere, I don't know where, and a shower. I don't know the placement of them, but I'll decide in time. So this, uh, it also has its uh, wardrobe here. The space for the wardrobe will be running here. So all this space will be for one person or two. We have that. And this is our main corridor, by the way. Look at this. This is our main corridor. Look at how big it is. Very big. Very big. So, guys, uh, the third room is here. So, these are, this is our second bedroom. It has a very big window there and a very small one here. So, this window will be stretching from up to down. They have taken the measurements. 
and this is our common toilet look at how beautiful it is big windows no jokes with windows we are not joking with windows so that's my mama's house that there is my wife seated there that's my wife and my sister so we got that so that is the common toilet so if you're inside the house this is a common bathroom or the common toilet that you'll be using then we have this third bedroom here very big a very big so this is a space for its wardrobe this one it's already pre-constructed so then it gives you this view you know of all the rooms i love this bed this room uh it's only that i could not change the plan but i wish this was my master bedroom you know i wish this was my master bedroom just look at the view just look at the view and guys you know i i usually say that i want to build like a swimming pool around there one of my subscribers say that they are willing to support me to construct like <laughs> an infinity pool here guys why will i get the water <laughs> for infinity pool <laughs> it is a very good it was a very good uh, suggestion you know the first person told me that i can put it there then when i said it the other person was like oh i can support so i don't know it is what it is guys when you get there we shall know but uh what do you think? What do you think about an infinity pool? Stretching from, you know, after the house, so we build it there. An infinity pool, suspended on pillars. Look at this. Just look at this view. So, you know, my home is surrounded by hills. Like 360, around, just around like this, there are hills all around. If you come here, only that we have the sun set there. Look at those hills. Those are hills. If you go, you extend, you come all the way. Look, so my home is surrounded by hills. Huh? By hills. Those are all hills there going around. So we have that. So this one, uh, I love this view. This is a view that I love most. When you come here, when it rains, the rain will come from there. You'll be seeing it approach. So we got that. So this is our carport. This is our carport. The carport here is not uh, permanent, like the car stays there forever. No, this is a pick and drop point. So, I don't know. It's a pick and drop point. We are going to construct another garage for the cars. So, let's go to this one. So, we're done with the bedrooms. This is our study room. It has so much timber. This timber needs to go back. I'd borrowed them from my cousin. They need to, to go back. So, we have this. This is a study room. From here, you're able to see also this view. So, as the children are here, and the visitors are here, they want to do their research, upload their videos. This is a place. We have a small lizard there. Shh, a small lizard. So, we got this, the view there. And these trees you see down here are mine. These ones I've planted. But across, those are neighbor's places. So, we got that. So, let's come here. The main room. Oh, yeah. So, these are living space. You see, here, uh, we got this small window here and this big one. <laughs> Even those guys who are just laughing. Uh, how can you put a door this big? Eh? Not even a church has this big window. Just look at how big this window is. And, guys, uh, I just want to say this. If, if you get money, don't listen to people who tell you that don't construct at your homes. There comes a time that the only place you want to go is your home. Build it. Even the town. There are those people, uh, I've seen so many people cry. The other time I was watching someone's video on another channel. This person was saying that they were in the US, they built a family. And when they divorced, they lost everything. They are homeless. If they build a home like this one in their village, it would be chilling. Just uh, synthesizing where to get food. You have a home. Me, I want to build a home. Come here with my wife, my children, relax. My great, 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 great grandchildren. 200 years from now, if God allows, they just come here and relax. Grandpa's place. So, no much deal. So, guys, uh, this is a living space. So, from here, from the living space, uh, this is that we are going to put our television this side, you know. But there's a lot of a lot of sun, so I don't want to go back. So we're going to put like our screen here, our pictures here, other pictures there. 
or whatever. So our TV there. So we have chairs here, chairs here, and other chairs maybe here. So we have that. Then when you go out, you know, as they said, if you go through the window here, you can look now down. Assume now we have our infinity pool from here. Now assume all this soil will be removed. All this soil. All this one will be taken out. We just removed it when we wanted to do a slab for the for the living space. So all this one will be removed. Just assume, just imagine having an infinity pool all here. From here all the way to the mango tree. Suspending here. A whole swimming pool. Just just imagine, guys. How beautiful this would be. You just come from the house. You just uh, throw yourself inside the pool. You you know, at the evening, the sun is there shining. Guys, it is what it is. <laughs> you know, life, life must be sweet. The people with money, life for them should be very sweet. Hmm? So you should uh, just work hard and get money, guys. So here, this is our master bedroom. This is our master bedroom. So we have this window that allows us to see our driveway. See those beautiful trees. So this is our master bedroom here. It has its window here. But now the view here is limited. It's not like the other places. So we got the view, but it's not that much. Because from here, although from here I'm able to see the carport very clearly. You can see who is there. I can also see here who is there. I can see all oh, this place. This is the biggest, the bedroom with the biggest window. So here I can see all that. I can also see who is coming to the home. You can see very clearly. So this one is addressed. Then we have its closet here. One of its closet is here. So a small one, not that big. But then we have its main closet. The walk-in closet is here. So the walk-in closet, you walk in. We got our storage here, guys. We got our storage here. It's a beautiful one. It's a very, very beautiful one. So then this one, I've also been able to take a measurement of this. We're going to put glass here that will allow light to come from outside there, come in. Then in here, we have the main toilet, the bathroom, the shower, the sink, the jacuzzi, the... <laughs> I don't know. So then we have this beautiful pattern. Just look at this. This beautiful pattern going all around the house. This one. Guys, we should we should stay alive to see the, the end of this project. What it will amount to. So then we have this window. This window allows you to see. You cannot see. From here, I'm just placing the camera on top. But now I'm able to see. You know, from where I'm standing, what you are seeing here through this camera is exactly what I'm able to see. So from here, I'm able to see. But now, you cannot see when you're outside there. It's very far. It's a bit deep. So you can't see. You know, this one is raised. This floor is very raised, like three stones from outside. So outside, you are three stones down. So you can't see where I am. So this is it. Then now, guys, the final room is here. The final room is here. This is my office. You know, somebody told me that you guys, you are very ambitious. How can you build an office in your home? <laughs> guys, it's always good to plan. Uh, it's better to change your plans later than to to regret or you never include them in your plans. So, this is my office. You see from here, I'm able to see my neighbors. They are working. So, I'm able to see them. Those are my neighbors. From here, I can see the big window. I can even fetch the mango from here. See? We have my mango here. So from my office. But it's quite a distance. <laughs> so guys, uh, that's it. So from me, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching the videos. But from tomorrow, let's catch up. Let's do this. We have a lot, a lot to do. My wife is here. Let us hear no. <laughs> guys... Let her come and say hello and say what she thinks about the project. You know, when we were doing this, she was not here. Come here. <laughs> she's here. She's running away. Uh -huh. Introduce yourself. Hi, guys. Uh -huh. 
I am Kate. Mm-hmm. Steve J. Wans, why? So guys, uh, you know, when I was doing this project, my wife was in the city uh, most of the times. So today, it was like a surprise. So I was giving her a tour. So she came again. Should I give her a tour? Mm-hmm. Or I give her tomorrow again in the video? So what do you think about the project? Everything is good. So. Uh-huh. I got <laughs> nothing to complain about. Uh-huh. Yeah. So guys, uh, I was just ending the video. So from us, we say goodbye. Goodbye. So see us tomorrow. Let's catch up from tomorrow. And thank you for all those watching. And as I've told you, trust less. The people you build, build a person that tomorrow can stand and remember what you did for them. Not so many people remember in this world what you did for them yesterday. So I've learned that the hard way. So the less people that you trust, the less people that you help, the less people that you tell the things that you do, the better for you. So keep it closed, keep it close to you, keep it shut. So guys, let's grow this, let's have this, and uh, we are back like we never left. So yeah. from us, goodbye. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.